Hello everyone, welcome to our Hufumi studio and we have an exciting topic today and also we have someone special he's also our guest from one of our school teams in fact I want her to do more of the introduction herself so I will start by introducing myself my name is Johnson Crystal Carlo and with me is Okay, okay peace Oyinyechi Yeah, from the sound of her voice, no, she's actually an exciting person. <laughs> so our topic today is we talk about how to handle, how to combine school and work, or school and career. Because most persons have this issue of they are going to school, but they have a dream or they have something they want to pursue that is not connected to but their they school. Are afraid that yeah, one of the either the school or the career would suffer and all. So looking at how we can handle this and how we can combine our school and our career so if this is something you've been interested in learning or gaining information about just stick with us so um she'll give the first point i'll give the next point and we'll go from there so over to you what do you think students need to do to combine their career and the school they have come for but before then you can actually tell us your the school they are going to currently yes. and the department and go from there. Okay, so I'm a student of University of Nigeria and Suka, currently studying early childhood education, known as child psychology, but okay. not popular yet like that. Okay. So I mean name the three hundred level because I'm almost done with exam now. Okay, three hundred level. <laughs> yes. Alright. Okay, so I, I think our today issue is you know, like our today what we found out that most young young people have issues with placing both their career, that's their work, their yeah, job the academics, to yes. school. So but it's it's not easy though, but I think if you follow the right steps, it's be very easy. First of all, is uh, making out plans for both your work and your school. That's Okay, scheduling like, them yes making sure that you written down yes, a plan just, for the two of them exactly yes. so you know days you're going to have classes and these are not going to have class so when you're having an event you know when to put the event and when not to put the event okay so you you by now i believe as a student you already know you have your timetable you have your your class timetable towards yeah. your school curriculum you know what and what's going to happen on so so and so day with that you can plan on how you're going to work with your career okay for instance i'm a model i have days that i'm not having so many school activities probably i just have lecture 8 a.m and it ends by 10 and the remaining rest of the day i'm free do i have to waste the remaining days no i've already mapped out what i'm going to do that day if i'm going to have a shoot i'm going to probably do a catwalk video or anything like that it's already mapped out so that's the first one having schedules for both work and school okay i think that is actually a valid point because if you don't practically bend them down that this is the schedule i have for school and for career you might mix both of them up very there's true. something you need to be very conscious and deliberate about so i think that's the first point knowing when to do this and when not to do this and the next point i have from my own end is make compromises the truth is, there will be compromises. This is myself for an instance. My school is, let me not say was, it still is the best school in West Africa. Are you serious? The best, <laughs> best um, what happens to my own institution. School? I don't know about your school. So actually, the name of my school is Michael Obara University of I'm very sure you all are shocked to hear the name. Who would you are you? So that's by the way. So I studied computer science and I had issue with combining my school, my academics, and then my career because I wanted to be software developer full time. And then I was also into writing inspirational books. I was also into graphic. I did I had a lot of things I was doing then. So combining the two of them was a challenge. But one thing that helped me was this compromise I'm talking about. I had to let go of some areas of my life. I, necessary. I was used to playing football on weekends. 
but because I was now occupied with engagement, I had to let go of football. So there must be a compromise, that's it. But I have to choose where I'm compromising. I had fellowship and church activities every week. I had school, I had time for learning, my skills and all that. So I had to stick to the important ones and let go of the very important. I knew that I was not going to be a professional footballer. I just loved football and all, so I had to stop going for football, training and all that. So I used that time to rest and then to do other things for myself. Then there were some associations I was part of then too, which weren't, mm, they were okay, but they were not really adding to my life much. So I had to let go of those associations and focus on the important ones. So make compromises, don't feel bad when they say, ah, we don't see for these meetings, we don't see for this. You have to make a compromise. There are some things that you know sincerely they don't really add to your life. It could be a social gathering or a community that is not really adding value to your life. You can make a compromise, keep them aside or give them little attention and then focus more time on your academics and your career because your life depends on them. So what's the next point from your end? Okay, so my number two point is eliminate distraction. When I say eliminate distraction, I mean parties, going for parties, always constantly using your phone, always on television. For most of us that have TVs in school. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I mean by partying. Not every time we go for a party. At least once in a million years we go for parties. Yes. Then see in fact I don't think as a student you need to have television in your in your lunch. It's even, it's even a huge distraction that on its own end. Okay, so you're saying that those that have televisions in please, your, you know, should the streets away. Should treat <laughs> away. Hmm. I will speak. I don't really mean it's like that, Sha, but Yeah, yeah. Um okay, I know most of us when I say phone now, some people will be like, ah but I'm using internet now, I'm using yeah. assignments, why would I but I don't I want to make points on we always being on TikTok, on Instagram. We're not we're not even posting or editing or learning something new. We're just watching TikToks okay. and the rest. So all this side side um distraction. Yeah, we should let go just of them. Okay, so she's saying anything that brings distraction to you that takes your time off your career and that career I have in mind and your academics, you should leave them aside. She, exactly. she has mentioned social media and all Party. that and parties too. Sorry, please let me make it clear. You can go for parties, please. Yeah, but do it responsibly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, so I think the next thing on my list is rest. Rest is important. It's not overrated. True. It's very important because you need your mental and physical health to do all these things. Again, okay, when you break down both your school, I remember falling sick in one prior to one of my exams. I couldn't even read again. Like I wanted to just be alive. Mm-hmm. The goal at that point was just to be alive, not to pass my exams again. So when you when you lose your health, you realize that all these things you don't have the time and the energy to pursue them again. So prioritize rest and in by the same token, it means you need to eat well to for take care of your health generally. You understand? So make our time to rest. After school, take a nap. When you do your career stuff or go to learning school, anything, make our time to rest. So you have the energy. Taking a nap every day helps. From personal experience, any day I don't take a nap, I, I find difficult taking naps. So I've tried to take a nap almost every day I can. And each day I take a nap, I realize that I'm more productive the rest of the days. One minute, um, one hour nap, 30 minutes nap, they're all important. So rest, Zukwaniki, that's what you say in the language, Zukwaniki, eh? As you are reading your book and doing all this thing, you need to rest as well. So I think that's so the I, point. I feel like that's the point where you can then party, like, in case you want to rest now, like... Uh, party and rest in that, party is also a stress on its own. No, okay. you get, no, like, when you, you don't, you don't understand. Like, is it like chilling off and relaxing? Eh, yes, now you go No, 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 see, relaxation and rest are similar, but they are two different things in this context. Okay. And when I mean rest, when I mean rest, rest, like leave every other thing and rest. Okay, Everybody needs rest. Sleep. Oh, yeah, okay. because most of the time when you go to, when you, realization is important when you've done a lot of mental work and you need to refresh your mind. But I'm talking about the overall rest you need. 
You understand? When you, if possible, turn off your phone, go to social media, just sleep, yeah, I, I have time for yourself. But relation too is important. I decide to hang out with your friends, stroll and all that, important too. But the rest aspects, what I'm talking about, after a lecture, nap, take a nap, you know, and all that. You can bring in the idea of relaxation too, but if he's giving you rest, I think that's what I'm talking about. All right, I think I understand. Now. So today I learned that passing is part of rest, okay? <laughs> All right, so uh, my last um, opinion, my last suggestion, my last point, anyone you yeah. is necessary, is um, ask for support. Hmm. You know, all of it I've been doing, I do know I can do it on my own. <laughs> they are asked for support. You can, it not necessarily be your parents or your family members, but it can be your friend especially in school okay you know you're missing out in class now and you're doing i don't really have time like uh, if i can't ask this person now this person might please ask so dear um i i had you for having class today please i won't be able to make it to class can you put attendance for me and yeah. in case most especially as a student i think you should have this connection with your course rep your course okay. rep your class rep Update, 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 Please, update is I, coming. That one is the like that should be your best friend, your friend. Yeah. Stand in that school terms. Guy, I'm not going to be in class. They have an urgent something to do. You know, this is mm. in terms of people that are supporting themselves in school that they are the one training themselves. Because I have one job that just came up now. I don't know if the lecturer should ask. Please, like you can help me. Yeah. I'll just cover up. But I promise the next class I will not miss it. Something like that. So you ask for support. Whether it's monetary financially and um, same thing um anyhow it is just yeah. ask for support don't do it on your own even from god in fact god is the number one support self yeah this point of having your course rep as a friend it makes sense because there are some key information or some classified information that he'll give to you personally because you are a friend to him exactly. or her so it makes sense too so like you said ask for support even financial support, too, like she mentioned, call your uncles on phone, disturb them because when you become an uncle, other person will disturb you too. So you disturb. And if you have uncles that give and relatives that give, is a plus. But if you don't have those that give, God will still see you through. So, last point for my end, and I think this summarizes a lot of things we've said now today is depends on depend on God's grace for sufficiency. I actually had a challenge with this because in my 200 level I was thinking on how I could combine school, learning graphic designing, web designing, learning how to play different musical instruments, writing, ebooks and all that. We're looking enormous, outrageous and difficult. So I stumbled on a Bible passage which I feel this was God giving me a message of hope. And that is in 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8. It says, and God is able to make all grace abound towards you. So having sufficiency in all things, you will abound to every good work. So in summary, what he's saying is God is going to give you the grace to be sufficient in every good work. So be it your school, your career, your taking care of your family, anything, God is going to give you the grace. People ask you, guy, how are you coping, managing this, managing that? And you're not even feeling stressed out, you're not feeling burned out because you're working with a divine grace. So to any of us out there that is thinking on how to combine life with school, with this, hustle, that, know that the grace for sufficiency is there. You can be a mother and still do your academics and still pursue exactly. that degree. You can be a father, you can have, you can take care of your family while you're pursuing your degree. You can be a housewife and a working class lady at the same time. Mm, 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 mm. Right? So all these things are possible. Don't write yourself off, don't limit yourself. Believe that God will see you through and with a few points of ours we hope we've been able to convince you that <laughs> you can do more with the little you have so thank you for tuning yeah, in not to convince you yeah so what's your final <laughs> what do you have to say to all them before the before we leave them i know, I know they're going to miss us but we have to leave <laughs> before i before i finally 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 say goodbye i just want to just i want to say this small story or a testimony rather okay so i had um i had and add that exam. I know anybody who knows my course and knows facts. Some people who know me will hear of this, but they know. I had an EDA exam and then I went to Calabar for handover. Now I came back, 
my exam was 9 a.m. I was still in Calabar up until 7. Okay. Sorry, not in Calabar actually. I was in Abakilike up until 7. Okay. I was not like, God, what do I do? I have exam by 9. Please, this boy should fall fast. I don't even know what to do. But to God be the glory, I got to my exam for two minutes before 9. Wow. <laughs> I then I wrote the exam. Well, somebody asked me, how did you get B? When, like guy, that day we even rush and we call, please where you did, guy, is that one start, where you did, the man don't come inside class, where you did, and then actually read. I did not sleep that night. I read, I just summarized, and then I paid attention in class. So I had this confidence, ah, if I write this exam, nothing will happen. I to go with the glory, I got B in the result. So read. But you can balance. If you are capable of doing anything, yeah. anyhow. That was a lovely story, and I'm happy that you didn't miss the exam. But please, let's not take this kind of risk all the time. But when it's necessary, we should do what we can do. And I feel like our academy should be of top priority. And God will help us as we do this. So it's time to leave. It's time to say goodbye. I know we are going to miss us, but we need to have to go. So on behalf of all our Fumi team members, we want to wish all our students writing exams success in the exams. May you all come out with flying colors in Jesus' name. Amen. So see you all. Bye. Bye.